JewishHistory.org presents Rabbi Beryl Wine's 5,000 Years of Jewish History. One video clip at a time. Clip number 74. Allen B., Lawrence, and Palestine. As part of the British strategy to protect the Suez Canal, Britain had a large expeditionary force stationed in Egypt. Also, as part of its strategy, it wanted to undermine the Ottoman Empire, the Turkish Empire, which sided with Germany. Therefore, the British expeditionary force was headed by a general named Edmund Allenby, who mounted an attack across the Sinai, up the coast of Palestine, to Jerusalem, all the way to Damascus. And in Saudi, what is today Saudi Arabia, then was Arabia, uh, the Hashemite rulers who ruled Mecca and Medina uh, were encouraged by a Briton by the name of Lawrence, famous Lawrence of Arabia, who romanticized himself, and they mounted a rebellion against the Turks. So the Turks on both sides of the Red Sea were in trouble. The revolution in the rebellion, the revolution in Arabia took hold. The Turks were driven north into Palestine and then driven even farther north. The British, as a quid pro quo, promised the Hashemites kingdoms, uh, autonomy. Uh, you know, when people promise, so they, if you're going to promise, promise big. And they did so, and the Hashemites believed them. The Allenby, with his army, uh, was able to uh, fight a successful battle in Gaza and then move north to Jerusalem and then continue moving north. Today you can see in uh, Jerusalem near the Hebrew University the cemetery of the British forces that fought here in the Battle of Jerusalem. And because of the Balfour Declaration, the Jews felt that Allenby was a liberator. Allenby was coming somehow to guarantee that this promise would be fulfilled. Now, the Turks had treated the Jews in Palestine terribly during the First World War. The Jewish population declined 50%. Uh, the Jews were starved to death. Jews were hanged from the walls of Jerusalem. It was a terrible time to be here, and the leaders of the Jewish people were either expelled or not allowed to come back to the country. There was a Jewish le legion, however, uh, formed under Vladimir Jabotinsky. It was called the Jewish Mule Corps that fought with the British at Gallipoli and fought with them later as well. This Jewish force later became the nucleus of the Haganah, of the Jewish Defense Forces. It gave them training, it gave them arms, it gave them a taste of battle what it would have to take to build the Jewish state. The triumph of England in this battle had great consequences for the Jews. In 1916, England and France sat down and they created a treaty called the Sykes-Picot Treaty, which divided the Middle East between themselves. The France got what later would be Lebanon and Syria. England got Iraq and what later would be Jordan and be able, and Palestine as well, and control of the Suez Canal, really control of Egypt. And this agreement uh, became the basic fundamental foreign policy of Britain during the interwar years. The Jews expected great things. Uh, they did not materialize. We'll talk about that at a different time. I thank you for watching. My name is Beryl Wine. For more on Jewish history, go to jewishhistory.org.